Hello and welcome to a very special brew report, the NHL Playoff Edition. Now we are getting set for the first round of the NHL Playoffs to begin. Now, I will be with you for the whole entire playoff, uh, NHL Playoffs. Um, I think it's NHL is a great sport. It's fast, and playoff hockey is the best hockey you will see out there in year in in years to come. Um, so let's get down to business here. Um, usually in my past in in the past, I like to break down each game and all that stuff, break everything down, and um and like see who and like the play hot, hot players on that. Usually, this time, I am not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to say the team that I like and how many games it's going to go into. It's going to be very quick and very simple. Um, and, yeah, usually I like to break things down, but I'm not breaking things down. I'm just going to go one, two, three, boom, who am I going to, who, who I got in, in round one and how many games. Um, I'll be doing that, like I said, for every round. Um, including the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, so let's get to it now, shall we? So we are going to deep dive hard in the Western Conference. Um, as again, last year, the, um, the defending Western Conference champions, Vegas Golden Knights, a year ago, came out of the West. Now let's see who will come out of the West this year. Come out of the West this or come out of the West this year. Um, to play for that Covenant Stanley Cup uh, trophy. Um, so let's get to round number one, shall we? All right, so now we have the number top seed in the Pacific Division, and number one in the Western Conference is the Calgary Flames. They will be playing against the Colorado Avalanche um, as the wild card. Uh, Avalanche snuck in at the last second, um, at the last day or so, um, so I personally, I, I'm a Wings fan, I'll say I'm a Wings fan, and I'm, I'm not a big Colorado fan, so I am gonna go with Calgary Flames on this one, it's gonna be a brutal, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big, good series, I'm gonna take this game into six games, um, Colorado's gonna fight hard, but, it's definitely not going to be, um, it's not going to be Colorado's, uh, Colorado's year for right now. They're still in a rebuild, but yeah, I've got Calgary Flames in this one. Next matchup in the Western Conference playoffs, we have, it takes place in the Pacific Division, and that winner plays the winner of Calgary Flames and the Colorado Avalanche, and it was a rematch from round two a year ago. It is between the San Jose Sharks and the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, it was a very tough. That was a very tough series for Vegas. Um, I'm also a Vegas Golden Knights fan too, and the way that this that that was probably the most impressive series I've watched in uh, in a while. Um, it was, it was just hard fought. It was fast paced. It was a lot of hits. It was a lot of fights. I think these two teams are the new rivalry going on here. Um, new rivalry, the new rivalry since the Colorado and Red, uh, Wings rivalry back in the '90s. Um, so yes, I do have my Vegas Western Conference champion Golden Knights shirt on today because I am picking them to beat. The, uh, the Sharks, I'm going in seven games on that one. Vegas in seven. Next matchup is going to be taking place in the Central Division. Now, in the Central Division, we do have the number one Nashville Predators. They are taking on the Wild Card Dallas Stars. Now, looking at this matchup, it's going to be a hard-fought victory. Uh, a hard fought, actually not a victory, but a hard fought series too as well. Um, and 
you know, as much as I like Dallas in this one, I really can't go against the Nashville Predators on this one. I'm at. Um, so, I still got to go with uh, Dallas on this one. Uh, Dallas is a wild card team, so you have to go for the wild card underdog team on this one. Um, so, that's. So, I'm going with the Dallas Stars. This game is going to be in six games. Um, and, yeah, go from there. We go to our final matchup in the Western Conference. Um, Mitch features the Winnipeg Jets, who went to the final or the Western Conference Finals last year against the Vegas Golden Knights, but did not get the job done as they take on the St. Louis Blues. Uh, I don't know anything about the Blues this year. I haven't really followed them, but I feel like every time they've gone to the playoffs, they kind of either choke under pressure. Or they just fall apart. They win two games and they fall apart. They lose the rest. Um, so I do like the Winnipeg to win in this one. Um, I do kind of want to see that moment mentality from the Jets a year from a year ago that they were they were they were this close. They were this close for a Stanley Cup, defending the Stanley Cup. Um, so <clears throat> we will. Uh, I'm going with the Jets in this one, and when we come back, we'll talk about the Eastern Conference playoffs. Now let's talk about the Eastern Conference Finals. These actually not finals, but Eastern Conference playoffs, um, which we will take place here in the Atlantic Division, where we have the President Trophy, Tampa Bay Lightning, and I'll say the heavy favorite going into the Stanley Cup playoffs. Um, they are taking on the wild card team, the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is the first time in each franchise, or I guess first time ever, that these two teams have met in the Stanley Cup playoffs. But um, I think goaltending could be an issue for Columbus. So I'm going to go with Tampa Bay on this one. And definitely is going to go in, I'm going to say five for this game. It's going to go in five. Just, I don't want to see any any teams go into a sweep or anything like that. No, I don't want I don't want to see any teams sweep. So yeah, Tampa Bay in five. Get matchup in the, uh, Eastern, in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Also in the Atlantic Division. And that plays the winner of the Tampa Bay and Columbus Blue Jackets is <clears throat> the Boston Bruins taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, I will say both teams have actually had excellent years this year. Uh, Boston does look pretty good, and a lot of people have predicted Boston to win it this year, um, But uh, one, besides Tampa Bay. But I think Tampa Bay is more heavily favored than Boston. So this one's going to go under the wire. This is going to Game 7. And in Game 7, I'm going to go with Boston to take that series. And they move on to the second round. So yeah, again, Boston in 7. Next matchup in the Eastern Conference playoffs resides in the Metropolitan Division. Now we have the defending, undisputed champions of the world from last year, the Washington Capitals. Taking on the wild card of Carolina. Now, this is their first time in I think 15 years that Carolina made it to the to the playoffs. So kudos to them, good job. But it ain't gonna last long. I'll tell you that much. It ain't gonna last long. Um, I have Washington in this game. Now, did I? I know I said that I don't like sweeps in this at all. I don't like saying sweeps because. It makes teams more rest. It makes more teams to rest, and whereas if you're fighting five games, you don't have time to rest. So I think, but I think this is going to be a, a sweep. This is going to be a four-game sweep by Washington. Washington is kind of the last minute of the season. They've been unbeatable. So I got Washington in, in four. Yeah, I hate saying four, but yeah, Washington in four. So, 
our final match, our final Eastern Conference fi or playoff or playoff conference playoffs, and the last uh, last series of the of round one is New York Islanders and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um. I don't really want to say anything about. I don't know really much about um, Islanders because I mean they've been so-so this year. Same Pittsburgh has been up and down. Uh, they kind of barely made it into this into, into these playoffs, but I mean it was very close. I would say it was very. It was a very close. Um, they. I mean Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh would have lost to Detroit. Um, lost to Detroit. At home, they probably would have got a wild card, seat, wild card spot. Um, so, I mean, who knows? Um, but um, as much, I mean, I'm not really much of an Islander fan, but I think this is going to be around. Was it around three or four? Around three or four of the second round between Washington and Pittsburgh. Yes, I'm taking Pittsburgh. In six games. So yes, Pittsburgh in six. Those were the round one predictions by me. I pr did some predictions on, um, I mean, that's my prediction. Could be wrong, could be right, who knows? I never know if you could be right or wrong. 50-50. Um, so, so I am doing a bracket challenge. Um, it is Avenge the Fallen in honor of Avengers Endgame. Um, I was going to say whatever it takes, but apparently it wasn't working. So I said Avenge the Fallen um, in honor of um, in honor of the uh, end, Avengers Endgame that is going to be in theaters April 26th. So that's going to be a big movie. Um, the tickets pretty much already sold out all over across the globe. It's the sixth highest gross pre-sale ticket so far. Um, but back to the subject here um so hopefully you guys can join that it's just for fun we're not doing any prizes um and make sure you like and subscribe leave a comment down below um hit that bell um for any updates regarding uh myself on my brew reports and or my other uh my other show that my other show, The Marvel Underground. Um, hopefully, you get, I will be back with you guys for round two. Uh, enjoy the first round. Those first games will kick off till on April 10th. That's a Wednesday at 7 p.m. Uh, starting with the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, hope you guys can stick around and um, sign up for that bracket challenge. Have a great night, folks.